Hi guys, uh, thanks for uh, watching. So uh, I did a weekend project, uh, so just wanted to share that with you guys. So it's about uh, a VQA model that's visual question answering, uh, where we give an image and uh, if we ask a question related to that image, uh, our model should be able to uh, give a response related to that question and the image. Uh, now let's you know deep dive into the model. So uh, this is how uh, you know um, from a 30,000 feet this is how the model looks. So for example if you have a, a dog um, the breed name is Golden Retriever and uh, if you feed this image to the model and if you ask a question what is the dog breed and uh, the model should respond uh, which should be the most uh, relevant response uh, that is Golden Retriever. And uh, the below image uh, that you see in the lower bottom so there are four people standing in that image. Um, I have no idea who are they, but when you ask the model how many people in the image, um, it should respond saying that it's four. So it's not about classification of the image. Uh, the model also takes the input of the uh, input as the question and combine that with an image, and then you know it is uh, sent for a classification task, and uh, it should return the right label for you. So here it's not just about computer vision, but uh, there's also NLP involved. So it's a great amalgamation you see between uh, computer vision and NLP, uh, classic stuff. So now let's look at the model, how I train the data set. Uh, so basically for image, I, I took the VGG16 model, um, which is again a classical model. Uh, and uh, it was uh, pre-trained on uh, the ImageNet data set. So I didn't have to train a lot because it is already trained on uh, ImageNet uh, with, uh, you know, I guess close to 10,000 classes. Uh, but here I'm just uh, using 10 classes. Uh, it's not a, you know, very complex model that I'm using. Uh, what I did is I popped the last two layers of the layer stack uh, for VGG16. And the output of that is 4096. And that is uh, the image vector that I would expect from the VGG16 model. The left hand side, that is, uh, you know, LSTM model, uh, that takes a, you know, question tensor of uh, shape 30 cross 300 and uh, it returns uh, a tensor of 512. So basically, I didn't want to do one heart of my uh, word tokens because I had very limited questions. So what I did is, uh, I took word embeddings from a pre-trained glove model of uh, Spacey. So uh, I didn't have to retrain the model again. So uh, what I did is it's very minimal. Uh, the training part is very minimal in this case. And uh, if you see there's a merger that's happening here uh, where uh, the output of the LSTM uh, that has 512 as uh, the shape of that vector and uh, 4096 and combining them it's giving you 4608. And if you look at the, uh, you know, last layer, the input is 1024. That is how it is reshaped. And uh, 10 is going to be my uh, output, which is again, uh, corresponds to the label. And I send that to a softmax uh, classifier to give me a set of uh, probabilities of uh, uh, corresponding to uh, different uh, labels. And we'll be taking the argmax of it, of course. Uh, which is going to return the relevant uh, response to my question and an image. And this is about the model and uh, we are basically combining two different models and send it to one you know softmax, softmax classifier. So this is the use case uh, that I did. Uh, so what I did is uh, given a medical image and if you ask a relevant question to that medical image uh, our model should be capable of answering uh, that question uh, with associated with that uh, medical image. So this is a very basic task that I did, but you could basically add more uh, medical uh, image data and uh, maybe more questions to it uh, to get complex answer like uh, uh, give give a you know I'm just making it up give a uh, cancer uh, medical imaging report so and you could ask a question. If this tumor is uh, cancerous or not, is it uh, you know um, benignant or malign? Um, so it should be able to classify. It should be able to interpret uh, your medical image given a question. So, but since 
uh, it's just a hobby project i i train close to 250 300 images and uh, i hand wrote each and every question and their response so in this example let's say that we are taking an x-ray of a healthy hand uh, which is a right hand and i'm asking a question if it's left or right and model was able to give me the correct response which is right and uh, now i guess it's time for demo and i'll explain you uh, in the demo part uh, what is the image that I gave and what is the uh, question that I asked and uh, let's see what is the response what the model has to say about that image given an image and a question thanks so I've trained the model uh, now let's see uh, how our model does with few test images so after training this is where I've stored the weight files and the model architecture and if you could see the model loss here, <clears throat> sorry, it has uh, declined significantly. But since I've used only a couple of images, uh, not more than 200, 250, so it might overfit. So I've read the uh, model architecture and weight files, and let's let's test it on a you know sample image, a random sample image that I took from the internet. <clears throat> sorry again. So this is an image of a healthy hand and I'm reading that and uh, what I'm doing is I'm asking a question uh, is this left or right basically I'm asking if it's uh, left or uh, you know right hand and uh, let's see what the model has to say about uh, this x-ray and this is where I'm reading the uh, question features I'm basically extracting the features from this question. Now let's see what the model sends us response. Yep, uh, rightly so because uh, your thumb is uh, facing towards your uh, right, so it should be a left hand. So uh, this is one, and let's look at another image. Again, this is a random image that I took from the internet. So basically, I'm asking what is the body part here. Again, reading question features and now the image features, extracting them and uh, combining them and sending it for prediction. Yep, it's it's a skull. Uh, so uh, it could also be neck, uh, not just skull. But since I haven't trained the model on the neck label, uh, I did not collect a lot of uh, data set for the neck X-ray. Just took a couple of them for um, you know uh, skull. So it's basically telling me the X-ray belongs. <coughs> X-ray belongs to the uh, skull part. Uh, not bad. And uh, there are times where uh, there'll be a random image uh, that'll be introduced to your model, and uh, it shouldn't be giving an answer which is uh, not so uh, closely associated with an X-ray. For example, in this case, uh, this is a Mario, uh, you know, picture that I took from the internet again. And uh, it shouldn't be saying that uh, this is an x-ray, right? So let's test that. So I'm asking if this particular image is, you know, x-ray. Again, reading the question, extracting question features, extracting image features. And yep, so it says that this is not an x-ray. And rightly so. So again, uh, there's no point in asking a question related to, uh, you know, uh, a picture which is not an X-ray, right? So that is what uh, I've handled that as well. So you know that is what I wanted to prove. And I I hope you like this demo and uh, the whole video as well. Uh, so I'll be doing more of uh, such videos in subsequent days, working on a couple of uh, things again. And uh, thanks a lot for staying with me so far and uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching this video.